good morning beautiful people dominique here and today i'm going to show you how i perform a motor flush on a 2005 chevy malibu tools needed ratchet and extension 15 millimeter socket 32 millimeter oil filter socket and a flathead screwdriver today i will be using motormatic motor flush it's five dollars at autozone pretty simple to use So according to the back of the bottle, you pull this full bottle of motor flush inside the engine and let it run for five minutes. But before you do so, check your oil. Make sure that it's topped off. You don't want to put this in here and you don't have no engine oil, no motor oil. All right, so let's get started. After you pop the hood, raise the hood up. I'm going to go ahead and remove your cap to the motor oil. Pull the full bottle of motor flush inside the engine. All right, once the cap, once you're done, put the cap on, throw it away, get rid of it. So you can go ahead and put the cap back on, tighten it up. All right, so now you wanna get on the inside and start the car and leave it running for five minutes. All right, so once your five minutes is up, go ahead and cut off the car, get your 5W30 oil and oil filter. Jack the car up on jack stands, and then we can proceed. All right, so once the car is jacked up on jack stands, you're gonna need a 15 millimeter socket and wrench to remove that bolt, the drain plug. So let's get into it. Another thing I forgot to mention, make sure you're wearing gloves. They're very important. Make sure you're wearing gloves. All right, so it's a little difficult to record and work at the same time. So it's gonna be a few things missing, so bear with me. We have something below the pan to catch all the motor oil. <clears throat> Make sure you have something below here to catch this oil. And you're gonna be in a world of trouble, cleaning up a lot of mess. And you can just go ahead and unloosen it with your hands and let it pour all into the drain. Let it pour all into the pan, I mean. So now you come back on top, you can take the top off. That'll help the motor oil drain much faster. And also I like to pull the dipstick up. Once it's air going through the engine, it'll help the motor oil drain much faster down below. All right, so while the motor oil is draining, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the oil filter and you're gonna need a 32 millimeter oil filter cover socket and a wrench, a ratchet, I'm sorry. I recommend a small extension, not too big. Set the cap somewhere where you want to look on the ground. And here's the oil filter. And you're going to hear more oil drain below once you remove the oil filter. Don't worry about it. All right, so you're going to need a flathead screwdriver to remove this little gasket inside the oil filter cap. And it looks just like this. All right, so this is how you pull it off. Take this little gasket you got, take your finger, dip it in a little fresh oil and just load this rubber gasket. I mean, that's what I like to do. All right, so you take your new gasket and you put it back on that slot. See that slot that's wider than the others? Yeah, you, you put this gasket on there. You should wonder what type of filter you need for this car. If you get STP, S9018R. And this is what it'll look like. If it look any, if it don't look like this, you got the wrong filter. All right, get your new foil filter and drop it down in there, just like that. Take your cap, put it back on there, hand tighten it, 
and then get your ratchet and the oil filter socket and go over it and tighten it again. Go ahead and tighten it up. So before you move the oil pan out the way, go ahead and take your screw, stick it in there, hand tighten it. It's gonna do a little dripping, don't worry about it. All right, so once you hand tighten it, grab your 15 millimeter socket, ratchet, and go ahead and tighten it up. Be sure to double check before you leave. <sighs> double check to make sure it's tight. All right, so get your 5W30 motor oil and go ahead and pour five quarts into the engine and give it a start. Let it run to operating temp. So you can take the cap, put it back on there. We'll lower the dipstick. Because now we're going to start it up. Let it run operating temp. And I'm going to check up under to make sure there's no leaks. Be sure to check for leaks when you start up the car. You don't want to pull off and destroy this engine. So once you check for leaks, after the car has been running to operating temp, you can go ahead and just check the motor oil to make sure you have your five quarts in there. Although you know you pour five quarts in there and you check for leaks, it's just something I like to do anyway. All right, so I checked the oil already. Everything is good. So what would you do? You pull the dipstick and you will wipe the end with a rag or cloth or whatever you're using stick it back in there and once you pull it back up it'll give you the exact reading of how much oil is in your motor and that's a wrap and that's how you perform a motor flush on a 2005 chevy malibu 2.2 ecotech engine thank you for watching have a beautiful day